All right, we're gonna do a little bit of magic here. And so we have our bottle, and we're gonna put a rope into the bottle. And as you can see, it can go in pretty easily, and it can come back out pretty easily. All right, this time we're gonna use some magic words. So we're gonna say the magic words, abracadabra, and let's see what happens. We're gonna pull up on the rope, and wow, the wine bottle mysteriously hangs from the rope. Now, what's the magic that's going on here? Of course, there's no magic going on here. It's all science. You can see that there is a cork that is pushed up against the rope, and the friction between the cork and the rope is what holds the wine bottle up. Now, part of this trick is to have the wine bottle, make sure it's painted so that you can't see through it at all. And so when you first put the rope in, at the bottom of the wine bottle, represented by a green dot, is the cork. The cork's at the bottom, and that's why the rope can easily go in and out of the bottle. But when I turn the bottle upside down, the cork falls to the bottom into the neck. And if you pull up on the rope, the cork stays there with the neck, in the neck, and it rubs up against the rope against the bottle. And so it provides a friction force, and the cork is pretty rough, so it provides a great friction force against the rope, and that's why the bottle doesn't fall with gravity. A discrepant event is a demonstration where students observe some kind of phenomena happening, and it contradicts what they think they know how it works, and magic constantly does that. So they think, well, you know, rope can't hold that up, so it confronts their prior knowledge, and so they have to start digging deeper. Okay, what's really going on here? And that's really the basis of a good science demo.